Hey guys, I'm your friend Chetan Bhula and you are watching Bhula Moto. In this video, we will be talking about the camless engines which are given by the Konex Sag. So, why camless engines are uh, coming very soon and... Uh, yeah. Hello friends, I'm your friend Chetan Bhula and you are watching Bhula Moto. In this video, we will be discussing about the camless engine, how it is more beneficial, what are the advantages, disadvantages. We will be discussing almost everything about it. So, please keep watching this video till the end. I am sure you will be getting to know something new in this video. So, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it right now. So, Koenigsegg is the uh, company which is working on camless engine very fastly and it has it has already developed a camless engine on which it, it is working uh, very much fastly. So, why camless engine? Basically, by using camless engine, you are removing all that mechanical components like cam, rocker arm, uh, uh, like that of the valve and all those things. You are removing all that and instead of that, you are placing some actuators which will be actuating the valves. So, in that way, you are eliminating all of that mechanical components and, actuat and actuators are going to uh, do the same function as that of the, uh, all, that, all that mechanical system. So, why you are removing all that mechanical system? Uh, so, other one major thing that uh, that uh, that uh, that intends the, uh, them to uh, remove that uh, mechanical component in the mechanical component the graph of the valve actuation to the time uh, is like this uh, i will be explaining this is the time this is the valve actuation as a time this is the valve actuation is like this it grows slowly then for a very small amount of time it reaches its maximum value max maximum height and after that it starts retracting back so uh, for the uh, for a very small time it is uh, it is at the maximum height of it but when we involve this actuator type of system then what happens is it actuates very rapidly because uh, uh, when when you provide the signal to the actuator it just push it just pushes that but in case of the cam uh, the cam profile is made like this and due to this cam profile the uh, the rock arm is pushed slowly uh, because of this cam profile only and after that it re retracts it slowly so in this way uh, but they in in ca in the actuators there is no need of such kind of profile and they, there is no foundation of the actuator to to actuate slowly and all that so that's why when you provide the signal to the actuator it just do its action so in this way uh, this is the timing this is the valve actuation in a very small amount of time it just actuate it to its full length and after that it after that it stays at its maximum height for some time and then it re retracts back to its initial position so in this way uh, the valve actuation and retraction is very much fast process and uh, thus it is giving it sufficient amount of time to stay at the maximum height so in that way uh, if it if it is uh, uh, staying at the maximum height for longer time, then it will be having more amount of air and fuel mixture to get enter inside the engine. So in this way, it is helping uh, to improve the uh, efficiency and the performance because when uh, it is having at the it is uh, staying at the highest position, then it it is allowing the most of the amount of gases to enter inside the engine so the actuators that they use for the actuation of the cam uh, for, uh sorry for the actuation of the valve the actuators, actuators might be of electromagnetic hydraulic or pneumatic um any of the actuator they can use but the conic set that i have seen is using the electromagnetic actuator so that uh, um, uh, they they might have researched something so that's why they come to the conclusion that they should use electromagnetic but yes uh, there is a big disadvantage in hydraulic and pneumatic that they have to provide a pump for them to create the pressure in the fluid that they are using for the actuation so that's why they they might have used the electromagnetic valves uh, now coming to some disadvantages and advantages of this uh, camless engine the disadvantage is that there is more fuel consumption yes uh, the fuel consumption more because the performance given by this engines are more uh, only only because of this uh, the fuel consumption is more but it is more efficient than that of the normal cam uh, cam cam camshaft engine now uh, now another point is the accuracy at high speed is quite low than that of the uh, lower uh, than that of the accuracy at the lower speed so that's why uh, this is a disadvantage the com uh, the temperature sensitivity is uh, quite higher because uh, as the temperature increases the viscosity density and these kind of stuff uh, changes of the actuator because in actuator uh, the, the, if they are using hydraulic or pneumatic there are fluid that they are using and the properties of fluid changes with the temperature so that's why they are uh, temperature sensitive and the weight is also increasing because of using of pump some reservoir so that's why the weight is increasing the packaging is quite difficult because there are a lot of components that are needed to be fitted inside it 
so uh, the packaging of the compact engine is quite difficult sometimes you might have heard about the uh, uh, you might have heard the pneumatic actuator they they uh, gives the sound like these kind of sounds are sounds are produced by these kind of actuators so that's why they are make they're, they're quite noisy the cost is uh, is also high because the cost uh, depends on the components that li like uh, the pump they are using the reservoir the fluid that they are using the actuator is itself a costly thing so that's why uh, this is quite costly now coming to the advantages there are less moving parts in the, in, in the uh, camless engine because uh, uh, there is no camshaft, no rocker arm, spring, wall, no, nothing, of like, nothing uh, like that. Another, another advantage is that if there, is, if there are less moving parts then the mechanical failures have decreased so in this way it is again an advantageous thing. Now ease of wall timing change because ease you... <laughs> ECU can easily vary the wall timing uh, in the in case of camless engine because uh, ECU only has to send a signal to the actuators then according to this signal the, the actuator will push the valve so in that way it is uh, quite easier for the e uh, ECU to change the wall timing the height of the wall, t wall can also be changed because uh, as uh, in the actuator you can vary the height of the actuation of the wall and also the height of the wall opening can also be changed because uh, uh, in actuator you can vary the height of the actuation that you want and fuel injection can also be changed uh, can also be controlled as and when required whenever the fuel injection is required if the pressure inside the uh, combustion chamber is very much higher then the, it can easily stop the fuel injection and when the pressure inside the fuel combustion chamber is very less it can also uh, uh, in, in, uh, it, it, it can also inject the more fuel inside the engine and less crew is required to maintain this uh, camless engine because and it is quite important whenever you talk about the motorsports because whenever you talk about the motorsport it needs to take the pit stops and whenever some failures, uh, failures takes place it will require less amount of people to maintain this and to uh, to protect this so and, and to repair this so that's why it is an advantage again it is having higher performance as I have told you from these graphs uh, it is pr producing more performance more energy more power so that's why it is uh, again uh, advantage for these engines so I hope you got to learn something new about this camless engine if you like this video please share this video to your friends and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it right now because I make two videos regularly about the technical topics or the automobile engineering so please like this please subscribe this please share this thanks a lot thanks a lot guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot